Hello you guys and welcome back for another Monday video. I just got a new camera. It's the Canon M50, which is the mirrorless camera that Canon has. And I just am so happy. I can literally look, I can come in and it refocuses. I can come back out and it'll refocus. I just wanted to make better content and better quality content. And so I'm really happy to be sharing this with you. And something that I've been thinking about during quarantine, YouTube is giving me so much content still. Even though YouTubers are staying inside and staying quarantined, there's still so many people that are working to create content for everyone. And I just love that. And the reason why I got this camera is because I love YouTube so much. I just want to share better content for you guys really really appreciate anyone who's watching my videos i grew up watching youtube like since youtube started i was on youtube and watching all of these creators and people that inspired me to create my own channel jenna marbles dan and phil and charlie is so cool like no i'm not starting like a new channel but i feel like this is a new chapter for my channel with this new camera hopefully working my way to get better equipment and editing and everything and something that i'm always striving towards so today i just really want to talk about all the creatives and all the people that are on YouTube that inspire me that I think that you guys should subscribe to. Having content creators now during this time is something that can lighten your spirit. A lot of the people on here, like myself, like I don't get paid to do any of my videos. Even bigger YouTubers like Mr. Beast that inspires me, he gives away money all the time to people that need it and I really, really appreciate seeing that on this platform. That's what I love so much about YouTube, that no matter who you are, as long as you have a phone you can create on YouTube. It gives you some sort of freedom to do whatever you want in terms of creativity. I just love that I can go in and out and it focuses. I have a list of all of the creatives that I was like, I wanna make sure I can remember them. Yeah, so like I said, Jenna Marbles, Dan and Phil, Ricky Dillon is someone that I always love watching because you know, even though they are big creators, like Ricky Dillon, I just feel like is such a fan account. Like he's such a stan. I love supporting other artists artist and I feel like he's someone who does that wholeheartedly and is just like a really genuine person. If you want some good commentary content, you should definitely check out Drew Gooden, Danny Gonzalez, Curtis Connor, Cody Ko, and Joe Santagato. Those are the five people that I watch if I want some commentary content. They're all just so funny and so creative and like they all have like green screens and are using them for bits. They're all bigger YouTubers for the most part. I really enjoy watching Mr. Beast in the Vlog Squad even though they are posting like crazy videos. Videos. The fact that they're still giving back in their videos, I really, really appreciate. Like Mr. Beast and Mark Rober, who's another YouTuber that is absolutely phenomenal, planted 20 million trees and had people donate $20 million and had all these people come together and help try and save our environment. And seeing that on this platform is so inspiring to me and I hope that someday I'm able to do the same things in that sort of large scale like they're doing. I also started learning ASL, which is a video that's coming up on my channel. Creators that are really in the ASL world that I enjoy watching, well, Dr. Bill Vickers is who I learned from, a professor and also someone who is part of the deaf and hard of hearing community and he posts all of his lessons online. You can literally learn sign language online Another YouTuber and content creator that I enjoy with ASL Sign Duo. It's a couple, Ellen and Ryan, and Ellen is hearing and Ryan is deaf. And they post videos about the community, but also vlogs and part of their life. And they're just so adorable and I love them so much. During quarantine, if you're trying to get in shape and work out a little bit, people that have inspired me to start to work out, videos that I like to watch normally, not just in quarantine. Nick Simmons, who was an Olympic runner, and I feel like I'm gonna butcher her name, but her name's Natasha. Ocean. She really pushes herself and it inspires me to push myself like if I go on a run or if I'm doing a workout at home. And then I also wanted to mention all my favorite creators that I happen to know in real life. Even if they weren't my friends or people that I talk to, they're posting really awesome content and definitely will help you pass the time and watch some stuff. My friends Riley and Jeff post videos on HeadGum. HeadGum is this huge company that posts podcasts, that posts sketches and videos and bits and Riley and Jeff have to be a part of it. They're just so freaking funny and I just love watching bits and watching short sketches. You can just go from one to the next to the next because they're really bingeable. 
binge worthy. Similarly, my friend Daniel has a channel called Giggle Break that are also really funny sketches. I just like love that niche bit of YouTube where there's just like people that are posting sketch after sketch and creating short films on YouTube. I think that is so cool. I don't know this person, but Brian Jordan Alvarez is also insane. They're sketches, but then sometimes he's just dancing and like being joyful and watching him just gives me so much joy. Also, something that I miss right now that is really good to kind of watch, Phil, who has a channel called Phil Good Travel, he's posting like all of his travels around the world, going into culture, also just being so, so friendly. I can't go anywhere right now, and so if I get to watch his old videos, it kind of takes me out of what's going on right now. Also, someone I didn't mention during like the workout portion, but is someone I know and I really like, who has done a video on this channel, is Lynette. She has all these yoga videos and it's just really really a way that you can sort of have a spiritual connection and calm yourself down if you're feeling anxious during this time. My friend Irene has a channel. Irene and I, I feel like we have the same kind of energy, bubbly hyper energy at all times. I just love watching her videos because they're such a breath of fresh air and I really enjoy watching her. My friend Alyssa has a channel with her fiance soon to be husband was supposed to be husband in quarantine. They have a lot of fun videos if you're looking for sort of like a couple's like vlog content. So I really enjoy watching them. I think those are all the people that I would recommend. I just love YouTube. It is such a large part of my life and I really appreciate anyone watching my videos. And if you wanna see anything from me, please let me know because I love hearing your feedback. I'll be posting another tier video on Friday because now I'm making all these tier lists. I will see you guys next Monday. Boom, boom, bye.